We don't often think about what happens after we flush the loo. Waste water goes from homes and businesses through the sewer network to the nearest treatment works. Modern homes tend to have two separate sewers, whereas Victorian-built combined sewers carry water from toilets, showers and washing machines, as well as rainwater from roofs and roads. During heavy or prolonged rainfall, the volume of water within the combined sewers can reach capacity and overwhelm the network. This is where storm overflows come in. Storm overflows are pressure relief valves that allow extremely diluted wastewater into rivers and the sea to protect our homes, businesses and streets from sewer flooding. All water companies are legally permitted to use storm overflows by the Environment Agency. Being a rainy region, the amount of water running into our sewers is 28% higher than elsewhere in England and Wales, and we have 40% more storm overflows than the water industry average. Population growth, climate change and expanding towns and cities mean more homes, businesses and roads, increasing the amount of water that runs into our sewers. Storm overflows will continue to be needed to protect our communities from flooding. How are we helping? We've invested more than £1.2 billion so far into improving sewer overflows. And we have big plans to do more. We're installing groundbreaking electronic monitors to help us understand, manage and prevent the impact of overflows on our beautiful environment. And you can help too. If we can reduce the amount of rainwater overloading the sewer network, we'll reduce the number of times the sewers overflow. Fitting a water butt in your garden will give you a supply of water to feed your plants and redirect the rainwater, reducing the amount of rainwater entering the sewers. Another simple step is to put unflushable items, such as wet wipes and sanitary products, in the bin and not down the toilet. Unfortunately, these items can cause blockages, which limit the capacity in the network, and during heavy rain, the unflushable items can spill into our rivers and the sea. Unlike toilet roll, many of these products don't break down and remain in our environment long after the wastewater has dispersed. By making simple changes to what we flush down the loo, we can keep our waterways and environment clean. Working together, we can have a positive impact on our northwest rivers and the sea.